Are you considering studying medicine in Nigeria or are you already in medical school, just not sure what to expect as you go on in the program? Then today's video is for you because I'm going to be discussing everything you need to know about studying medicine in Nigeria, including stuff like what the curriculum is like, the course outline, you know, how examinations are conducted, if you need to like the site of blood to study medicine and all of that good stuff. So if you're interested in stuff like that, then do keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if today is your first time here, hey, hi. My name is Tolu Wanimi, but you can just call me Tolu. I'm a Nigerian Christian YouTuber and a final year medical student studying in Nigeria. On this channel, I create content around Christian lifestyle, girl talk, and medical school life. I structured today's video in a Q&A kind of thingy, you know. I, I kind of like just want to answer questions that I think that you may have about studying medicine in Nigeria. So I have like nine questions, and I believe that by the time we're done answering this question, you will get all the information you need about what it's like to study medicine in Nigeria and everything you need to know. I must say at this point that all the information I'm going to be providing here is applicable mainly to federal universities in Nigeria, okay? Because I am in the federal university, University of Uyo, okay? I'm not in the private university, so I may not know how it works there. I don't think it's any different, but for the sake of integrity, I just thought I should put that out there. So now that that is out there and out of the way, let's dive right into today's video. First, how long does it take to study medicine and surgery in Nigeria? Now, if you go on the internet, you go online, they will tell you six years. But if you ask me honestly, honestly, I will tell you that to study medicine in Nigeria is six years plus X, where X is unknown. I'll tell you why. There's strike. There's a pandemic nobody saw coming. And of course, the much dreaded repeat. Okay? You don't want to repeat a class. Nobody wants to do that. But it happens a lot in medical school. So if you get to repeat a class, if you fail the course and all of that, you we'll come to that and you get to repeat a class, your years may be extended. So generally, it's, it's six years on paper. I mean, in an ideal world. But in Nigeria, just have it in mind. Bear in mind that medical school is six years plus X. Where X is or no two how do you get into medical school in nigeria now it's not any different okay it's still jam or direct entry pretty much all right so i'm not going to like go into details here because i tend to do a full video on this how to get into medical school but just as a quick overview now if you are in secondary school or if you've not yet come into medicine you're going to need to write you will need to have credit in biology, physics, chemistry, math, and English. But in JAM, you're going to write English, biology, physics, and chemistry. Okay? So, you need to score high. But then when it comes to the cut-off, there's no set cut-off. Okay? I hear people say stuff like medicine is 300, the cut-off mark is 300 or 350. There's no set cut-off. The cut-off is set di at different years, you know, depending on the performance for that year. So, if in your set, people are scoring high, the cut-off will be high. And if people are scoring scoring low in your set the cutoff is going to be low so it all depends however many students who write jam you know um in nigeria for medicine actually score high so you want to target a really high score if you want to come into medicine but there are other factors involved like catchment areas if you're from an educationally disadvantaged state you know and all of that stuff we're not going to talk about that but if you want to see the full video where i talk about how to get in then you click on that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you will be notified once i make that video Moving on, how is medical school in Nigeria structured? So basically, like I said, medical school is six years. You have year one, two, three, four, five, six. Year one, two, three are known as the preclinical years. Year four to six are known as the clinical years. Actually, year one is not really included in the preclinical years, you know, but let's just add them so that we no feel bad, you understand? So year one, two, three, preclinicals, four to six clinical years. So your preclinical years, you're pretty much just doing the basic medical sciences. You're still running, for most universities, you're still going to be running the same university program. That is, you'll resume when others resume, and you would, you know, maybe go on holiday when others go on holiday. In my university, like University of Uyo, you, we normally write examinations, or we used to write examinations two weeks after every other student had written their own examination, but we would resume the same time, you know, as every other student. So you are literally interacting with other students at that point. You're doing basic medical sciences. You're not interacting with patients. You're doing lab work. You're doing practicals. We'll come to the courses, you know, later, but you're doing practicals and all of that. But at that stage, it's pretty much just your basic medical sciences and all that. You're still interacting with students. For some universities, you will be having courses or having classes with anatomy students, biochemistry students, physiology students. Some other universities will separate it, so if medical students will do their physiology, you know, different or separate from other physiology students. Then in clinicals, this is where you do the thing proper. At this stage now, it's no longer semester. In clinical stage, you could have first semester, second semester. But in clinicals, there's nothing like first semester or second semester. We count months. So in year four, year four is about 12 months. 
you know, year five is about 15 months, and then year six is meant to be about six months, but an X. So the point is, it's not really fixed, fixed, fixed. It differs for a lot of universities, but that's what it's like, okay? So you count months. Once you get to your year four, you start counting in months. You no longer say first semester, second semester. It's in months, okay? And then at that stage, you get to interact with patients. So it's at that stage, you get to actually, you know, learn how to get information from patients, what we know as history taking. You get to examine them. That kind of thing you see in Nigerian movies where they put stethoscopes and check people's chest, you know, all of that good stuff. You get to learn all of that. You get to learn how to treat patients, you know, and just interact with patients generally while still going for your lecture. So you're still going to be having lectures, but you're also going to be having patient interaction and working in the hospital, seeing real cases. So that's what it's like from year four to year six. Moving on, what courses do you do at every level in medical school? Okay, so we're going to make this really quick. From year one, you're going to be doing sciences so your biology chemistry physics mathematics all of that stuff you're going to be doing in year one as in year one that many of us medical students were juicy because these are just stuff that we had done from secondary school that we just had to bring so it's basically like ss3 you know stuff just a little bit more advanced okay so i'm going to give a little tip here you know so if you are still in secondary school you might want to take your further math seriously because the mathematics you're going to be doing in year one is more or less further math differentiation integration set and the likes however if you've not done further math too and you're watching this you can still make it okay i have a lot of colleagues who didn't do further math but we're still able to pull through so it's not a deal breaker okay that being said you're doing physics chemistry biology and then other genre like gst what we know as gst general studies it may be it may have different names in different universities but just use of english computer philosophy that kind of stuff but year one is just pretty much still your sciences so when you get to year two and year three you will now be introduced to the basic medical sciences which are anatomy physiology biochemistry in anatomy you're basically doing the structure this is where you if you've heard that they deal or cut dead bodies in medicine they do not lie to you okay you actually are going to be dealing with cadavers we call it cadavers okay we call them cadavers okay so it's not that scary you know you're going to get used to it but that's pretty much it you're going to be cutting through you're going to be seeing all the arteries you're going to know where every artery is every vessel is you're going to know muscles know the names of different muscles and all of that so anatomy is basically the structure physiology is the function so now that we know what we, what is the body what the body entails or what the body is about we want to know what the body can do so that's physiology and biochemistry is basically the chemistry of life you deal with molecules and all of that kind of orishi and stuff like that okay so basically it's just anatomy physiology biochemistry some universities like my universities do community medicine from this stage however other universities leave community medicine to you know clinicals so those are the courses basically you're going to be doing in your preclinical years when you get to your year four year five year six year four you're going to be doing pharmacology and lab medicine i got to know that some universities do pharmacology in year three but that's not common so year four you're going to do pharmacology and you're going to do lab medicine as well then year five you're going to do pediatrics and obstetrics and gynecology so pediatrics is the study of kids basically Kids, kids has to do with kids. O and G has to do with women, basically, like giving birth, pregnant women, and then women who have diseases and all of that kind of stuff. Now, um, some universities write pediatrics examinations or do pediatrics like in their final year. Okay, so you need to be aware that there are some differences in these things. But in my university, in the University of Uyo, you have pediatrics and O and G in year five, alongside other special courses like what we call special postings okay bb grammar anesthesiology ophthalmology orthopedics radiology um ear nose and throat ent okay big big grammar but basically you get to know all these things when you come you just have an idea this is what you're going to be doing and then in your final year you will do medicine and surgery now you start doing medicine and surgery from year four but you will not write medicine and surgery examinations till your final year so that's why it is not seen as the main course go go for year four and year five we'll talk about the examinations next okay but just get the idea okay i know that this can be very confusing and you will understand as you go clarity comes with movement right but just get an overview next how how are examinations conducted in medical school and what is the grading system like so this is where the fun is right in medicine you write four professional examinations in medical school basically so from year three you know going to year four you write your first professional examination 
year four going to year five, you write the second, year five going to year six, you write the third, and then year six graduating, like becoming a doctor. You write your fourth, you know, professional examination. So when you're done with your year two, you'll still be writing your normal semester examinations in year two. First semester year two, second semester year two, then first semester year three, which in most universities is called third semester. Because basically by second semester of year three, you're going to be using that period to be writing your first professional examination. And this is like a rate limiting step, guys, because not if you don't pass this stage, you're not going to get into the clinicals. Okay, so that's just basically it. Okay, and then the way it works is that if you Failed it. So the courses you're going to be writing in your year three, you know, first professional examination are anatomy, biochemistry, and physiology. If you fail the three, you're going to repeat year three. But if you fail one or two, say maybe anatomy and biochemistry, you'll be given a chance to receipt. Now, if you pass the receipt, you join your colleagues in year four. But if you fail the receipt, you will repeat year three. That's the whole repeat stuff I was talking about. Now, if you pass that year three examinations, you get to year four. And after, at the end of year four, you write your second professional examination. At the end of your year five that's going to year five you write your your, your your third professional examination and then when you're done with year six you write your final professional examination now this is not to say you're not going to be writing examinations in between but they are not counted as the examination so to say they are like ca's they're like tests only that in medical school each test is like a full-blown exam on it so you will read like you're reading for an examination okay that's not to scare you you get used to all of that stuff but just to tell you guys the truth right so you're going to be writing tests and all of that in between but at the end of the year you're going to write these professional examinations that will determine if you will go to the next class or not i hope that you guys really understand or you guys really get what i'm saying and then as for the grading system it's either you pass you fail or you have distinction there's not like first class or second class or any of that class system if you don't do the class system in medical school so it's either you pass or you fail or you have distinction now if you have below 50 is a fail if you have 49.99999 don't don't get infinity it's fail my brother my sister now if you have between 50 you know to 69.9999 whatever that's a pass so if you are from 70 up that's distinction so those are the class system so you don't necessarily by the time you're seeing your result for your professional examination you're not going to be seeing your score you will just either see fail pass or distinction that's what the grading system is like now to the very popular question do you have to like the sight of blood to study medicine in nigeria like why why would you need to like the sight of blood like nobody likes the sight of blood generally nobody likes the sight of blood guys but you know there was just that thing where every time before i go into medical school everyone was like are you sure you like blood are you sure you can see blood yada 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 you know but the one thing i'm going to tell you is that medical school teaches you adaptability and the truth is that you will never know. You will never know how much you can handle until you're faced with it. So you can't go about listening to people saying all these things, especially since, especially if they are not doctors. Because I had a lot of people who were non-medics, they were not in the field, they were just maybe my aunt somewhere or people somewhere that were saying, ah, you need to like the sight of blood. And you would wonder where they got that idea from since they have not even gone through the system. So don't let people who have not gone through the system tell you what you can or can't do in this system i don't know if you get that okay so the truth is that it's not like nobody anybody's going to put a pool of blood you know in a bucket and present it to you right yes there's the blood it, medical school can be bloody but the truth is that you can do this you really can you will adapt when i started medical school i used to tell my senior colleagues that i can't read for more than how many hours but this is me sitting to read for many hours. If they had told me someday in my life that I would read for hours without even checking the time, I would tell the person that it's a lie. I didn't think it was in me to do that kind of stuff. And I'm sure a lot of medical students didn't know what they could do until they had to do it. So the truth is that medical school comes with that adaptability skill. You've got to learn it. It's by force if you've got to survive here. It is by force. You've got to learn how to adapt to situations you never thought would be possible. So about seeing blood, I think that anybody can do it. Nobody likes the sight of blood. So when people are like, do you like the sight of blood? That's funny. If you like the sight of blood, you're a vampire. Nobody likes the sight of blood. So you don't need to feel like you, you're, you're not liking it. It makes you not good enough for medicine there are many more skills that you need to have to be able to survive here in medical school and liking the sight of blood in my opinion though it's not one of those skills okay i feel like it's something you will learn you will get used to it the first time i went into gross lab guys i was so weak my legs were so weak it, they, they became one time like i was going to fall people threw up and all of that weeks into it people were lying down on the cadavers because they got used to it it's pretty much that way the first time i watched
a surgery i literally was leaning on my colleague okay like i couldn't stand on my own i was leaning on my colleague because i was like how can you be cutting oh my god how can you be cutting a human body but the truth is i got used to it now we walk into theater like day she you get the point guys point is that you will adapt the first time it happens first second third even up to the tenth time it may be tough but you will get used to it so i feel like nobody should tell you that you can or can't do something especially if they've never had to face doing that thing or they don't know what it entails okay guys i know that i may not have answered all your questions if you have any more questions anything else you really want to know about medical school in nigeria leave it in the comment section let me know i'll see it and then we'll see what we can do i can make a video about it or i can just reply you in the comment section i hope you really enjoyed watching these videos if you are a christian you may want to check out some of my christian content on this channel and also subscribe to my channel to get more medical videos and vlogs and all of those you know good stuff all right so that's about that for today's video guys i love you all and until i come your way next time this is book back